Good day to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics for Thursday, the 28th of July, 2022. The Atlantic Basin remains nice and quiet, probably going to stay that way for the next several days. However, in the longer range, I'm starting to see some signs of change. I will show you what I mean by that at the end of today's quick update. Meanwhile, in the eastern Pacific, it stays busy. We have Frank now and Georgette. Neither of those systems will be impactful, uh, probably not even indirectly with waves or anything like that. If so, it would be negligible. So no major impacts seen for Mexico, and that is good news considering how busy the eastern Pacific has been. Satellite animation today, well, there's Georgette and Frank in the East Pack. The Gulf of Mexico has a little bit more in the way of shower and thunderstorm activity, but nothing that seems to be clustering together. Water temperatures in the Gulf are exceedingly warm, way above the long-term average, but again, nothing really coming together to solidify into a tropical storm or a hurricane or anything like that at all. Caribbean Sea and the western and southwestern Atlantic, those are all nice and quiet as is the eastern Atlantic. However, look, you can see that tropical wave. I mean, it looks like sort of a dry hurricane or at least a dry storm. And that's pretty much what it is. It's a very well-defined tropical wave. That part is there, the structure, so to speak, the foundation, but uh, the, the dry air, the inhibiting factor is the dry air. There's no deep thunderstorm activity associated with it. As you can see, the convection or thunderstorms, as we call it, that's located well to the south, way down here, uh, south of 10 degrees north latitude. And that is because of the overall pattern of strong high pressure kind of dominating the tropical Atlantic, sending these bouts of dusty dry air across the basin. And I have to emphasize it again, this is a very typical and normal thing to see. Climatologically speaking, it's still another three weeks or so until we would expect an uptick in activity across the Atlantic Basin. So enjoy the quiet while it is here because things will eventually change. Here's a good look at that Saharan air. Look at all the oranges and reds and even some pinks in there. Just a very dominant pattern right now. But once that relents, all it has to do is let up just a little bit and the tropics will become conditionally favorable for development all across the basin from Africa all the way over to the western Gulf of Mexico and pretty much every point in between. The vorticity shot here, uh, again, there's some energy out there, certainly, but the big inhibiting factor is the instability that's not there. It's, not, it's a very stable atmosphere, let's just put it that way. Instability is lacking. The ability for the air to rise and be moist with thunderstorm activity, that's just not there right now, a key missing ingredient uh, to otherwise what's a very active pattern of strong tropical waves traversing the Atlantic. So here's that tweet that I was talking about, or at least the info, in the form of a tweet from my friend Zach Fredella in New Orleans that he's starting to see some small signals that things may wake up in the tropics over the next couple of weeks or so. It'll be August at that point, so no surprise there. That is a good point. Um, but what is that? That's the ensembles and just a general look at the lowering of pressures. Some of the ensemble members from the GEFS, that's the ensemble forecast system, picking up on the potential of some development in about the 10 to 14 day time frame that does put us into the first part of August. And so that would make a lot of sense. So we'll watch and see if this signal persists, if it gets stronger, if it disappears. It is something to keep an eye on though as we move forward. All right, but at least the next several days will be nice and quiet. That is it from me for today. And I do wrap up my studies out here in the desert Southwest. I was out here for the last week tracking the monsoon. I will talk more about that on Monday after I return and gather all of what I learned and just kind of put together a summary. Been an interesting week out here in Arizona and uh, Nevada and Utah, uh, for sure. At least the rain has been here this year. They desperately need it. All right, that's it. I am Mark Sutter. Thanks for tuning in to What's Up in the Tropics. I'll be back with more for you tomorrow morning.